Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to be doing ore generation. We're going to first be going to creating our ore using variants, and then we're going to be generating each dimension in the world. So let's get started. We're going to create three blocks. Just copy and paste the first bit here, changing it to ore end, ore overworld, and ore nether. It's equal to new block ores, ores with an S as a block or is a default Minecraft class. Inside of here, we're gonna want the name of it. It's going to be or end. Then we're gonna want this specific dimension. So end, then copy this for each of them. Now hover over block ors and click create class. As normal, it's going to implement I has model. It's also going to implement something else called I meta name, which people from my previous tutorials will have. Hover over it and click create interface. Put it in dot util. And then I've created a package called interfaces, which I've put my two interfaces in, I has model and I, I meta name in here. It just has one function, public string, get special name. And inside of here, it has item stack stack, control shift O and save. If you open your block base, we can copy everything from here, but we will be changing it. Click change to constructor. There's a few things we need to change. Firstly, change material material. Change this to string dimension as we can set the material as default since all of the things referring to block ores will be an ore. We can set it to material.rock. So all our ores will be rock. Now above this, firstly, we are going to create a few variables. Private string name and private string dimension. You can just put a comma after after name and just put dimension as the both private strings. Then put this dot name is equal to name and this dot dimension is equal to dimension. Now I'm going to introduce you to the concept of variants. People who've watched my previous tutorial will know about variant. Right, this time we are going to create an enum handler. So click create class and call it enum handler. So now we're going to do a public static enum. And this first enum is going to be called enum type. And enum type refers to variant. And this is going to implement I string serializable and open curly bracket. Firstly, we're going to need a few variables private, static, final, enum type array, so right angle brackets, called meta local equal new enum type array. Whereas inside these, we have values, open brackets, dot length. So this is an array of all the metadata that we have inside of our enum types. Each different variant, all the variants are stored inside of meta lookup. We're going to need a private final int meta and a private final string name, comma, unlocalized name. So these the name are unlocalized names of each variant. Then you want to create the constructor. Inside of this one is going to be int meta. So the metadata ID of this variant and string name, the name of this variant. Then after we've created that first constructor, we want to create a second constructor which has int meta string name and also string unlocalized name. Inside of this second constructor, we're going to set meta name and unlocalized name to themselves. Then inside of this first constructor, we're going to put this meta name name. So what's this doing? This first constructor is referring to the second constructor and it's setting the unlocalized name to the same thing as the normal name. We're going to need a few getter and setter functions. Control space, get name, just return this.name. Control space again, get meta, return this.meta, get unlocalized name, turn this.unlocalized name, to string, return this.name. Then a couple of our own functions. Public static enum type by metadata with int meta inside, return meta lookup right angle brackets meta then finally static open curly brackets for enum type enum type colon values meta lookup right angle brackets enum type dot get meta is equal to enum type then finally at the top we're actually going to create our variant so the two variants i'm going to create is copper zero copper so the id is zero and the name is copper then aluminium one aluminium and put a comma after the copper you can add 
up to 16 of these, so IDs 0 to 15, give it a save and you should have all that enum created. So we've now created something where we have two different variants. Since we have variants, there's going to be different states of our block. Therefore, we have to set the default state. Set default state to this dot block state dot get base state dot with property variant enum handler dot enum type dot copper, except we haven't created the variant property. So at the top here, above everything, create public static final property enum then triangle brackets enum handler dot enum type called variant is equal to property enum dot then click escape copy this triangle bracket once again then write the word create open bracket the name variant comma and then the class it's referring to enum handler dot enum type dot class control shift o to import property enum and click save and you should have created the variant property another thing we need to do that's going to go in our blocks class blocks package we're going to actually print bot blocks dot item and we're going to create a new class called item block variants once again if you have this from the previous tutorials come bring it through but for everyone new here i'm going to go through and create it again item block variant extends item block we're going to need the constructor Inside the constructor, it has block block super off block. Since it has variants, that means it has subtypes. So set has subtypes to true and set max damage to zero. Then we are need, going to need to get the metadata. So get metadata, get the one that says int damage and just return damage. Damage is using variants to actually find out which variant ID is. And then finally after that, we're gonna to have to set the unlocalized name. So get unlocalized name. We are going to return super dog get unlocalized name plus underscore in quotes plus then double up in brackets i meta name this dot block dot get special name. So import block dot get special name and i've imported the wrong get and localized name you need the one that has item stack stack in it just like that import item stack and we can save item block variants back in block ors where it says item in it to items to add new item block variant this control shift o to import item block variants and everything else will keep the same next we're going to make modifications to register models delete everything out of there for for loop again int i is equal to zero i is less than enum handler dot enum type dot values dot length i plus plus what this means is everything inside of this for loop so everything inside these curly brackets will be ran the number of times the number of different variants we have in enum type then we need to go into the proxy Go into common proxy first. I've already got it here. Copy register item renderer and paste it in again and add string file name before string ID and call it register variant renderer. Once you've done that, go into the client proxy, override it and do model loader dot set custom model resource location, item meta, just like before. Then a new model resource location. Then instead of item to get rid of your name, a new resource location of reference.mod.id and file name and then id again so very similar but a bit different now do main.proxy.register variant renderer item.get item from block this the metadata is i so whichever round we are on of going through uh, this for loop then the net the file name is or underscore all in one quote plus this dot dimension plus enum handler dot enum type dot values then right angle bracket i so whichever whichever value we're currently on dot get name so get the name of the metadata we're currently on and then inventory in the id as normal so if you think about it the name of the model is going to be or underscore then back in our block in it, whatever we put here, so or end or or overworld or or nether, then plus the name here. So we need to actually put plus underscore in quotes again, then plus again. 
So or underscore this dot dimension underscore enum handle dot enum type values i. So the name of the metadata. If we go back into that enum handler. Say we're on copper, it will be copper. So or underscore nether underscore copper or nether copper. Enter that down a bit as we're going to have other things above. Control space type damage drop. This refers to the metadata, not actually the damage. As we set the maximum damage to zero, return, then double open brackets, enum handler dot enum type, state, which is the current state of the block, dot get value variant. So get the variant property dot get meta. So get the metadata of the property currently and figure it out and then figure out which version of the block to drop get now get meta from state this is exactly the same thing but instead of being dropped it's referring to the actual metadata of the block currently that's placed now get state from meta is the opposite way around return this dot get default state dot with property variant enum handler dot enum type dot by metadata meta so what this is we're getting the normal state of the block so just copper is the default but say we, the thing was to be aluminium we'd add the property and then we would search for the aluminium metadata if it returned with the by metadata function we would actually get the state as being aluminium now get pick block so what block will drop when it's mined turn a new item stack of item dot get item from block this so obviously this normal block the amount of them one and then if we hover over item stack this is actually going to be the metadata so get meta from state world dot get block state at this current position now we've had the pick block, we need to actually get all the different blocks. So get sub block, this will return the different metadatas for enum handler dot enum type. This is going to be called the variant colon enum handler dot enum type dot values. So run this for the amount of type the amount of values we have. Items dot add a new item stat this one variant dot get metadata. So we add each different variant to the list of blocks or items as it's called here. We need to create the block state. So we create this each, this block with the property of variant. So return a new block state container, this, and a new i property array, open curly brackets and put the word variant in there. Control shift O input i property. So this is a, it basically just stores a block state and you can put all the different properties that your block state has in here. And finally, get a special name, return enum handler dot enum type dot values, open the right angle bracket, stack dot get item damage. So get the metadata dot get name. So we get the name of the metadata and save all. That's everything. If you want any more explanation, leave a comment down in the comments below and I will try and explain it to you a bit more. Now for the resources, firstly block states, we are going to do this from scratch, open up some curly, curly brackets and save it first so we can have our source formatting, then variant colon and then open up some more curly brackets and then variant equals aluminium, open curly brackets again, then quotes model colon quotes again, tm colon or overworld aluminium then comma remove the comma from the last one change it to variant equals copper and all overworld copper so based off of which variant we're using it will give us a different block model in the lang we're gonna have tile dot and then just take a quick look at what the block states were called or underscore overworld underscore aluminium dot name is equal to aluminium or or overworld copper is equal to copper or for the models block just copy block copper call it or overworld aluminium call the texture the same thing and save that repeat for copper for the item models 
Once again, copy block copper, call it the same thing, and repeat for aluminium, and then go and create your textures for each. I'm going to drag in my textures from my other mod, but they need to be in the specific naming scheme. So all overworld aluminium, repeat all those steps for the nether and the end. So just copying all overworld and changing, and changing it to all nether, then changing this to nether, this to nether, and everything to nether, and also for end. So I'll see you back when we've done, you've done that. Once you've finished all that, you can boot it up. If we look inside the building blocks now and scroll down, we'll find ender copper ore, ender aluminium ore, copper ore, aluminium ore, fiery copper ore, and fiery aluminium ore, which is what I named everything. Place them down just to check they work. And they do. Each of them works as a block. 